All right, so it's recording. Cool. So you told me that for this project, uh, the first thing we're going to do is to talk about my art, right? All right, cool. Let me just find my lighter. So I'll start by saying that I left Costa Rica to pursue my giant within. Um, what the giant is, is this creative willingness that forces us to be vulnerable. You fit it with change and new experiences. You know, you, you follow its traits, it challenges you, it tricks you. Um, the giant is a part of you, but always beyond you. And every time you think you find it, is in fact, is at that exact moment, dude, you lost it. You see, in the beginning, a network is never a daunting idea to me. I'm not afraid of what will come next or if I will surpass my latest efforts. It, whatever you will express at the end is just another part of a beautiful, never-ending search. And you know, every artwork you make inspires, you know, inspires future thought and becomes a trace in the only path we know, really, the one we leave behind. I'll be honest, collage artists never start with a blank page. In this practice, the material source of our visions is omnipresent, especially waiting for us to notice or make a connection with it. During our search, every publication has a universe of possibility, therefore the challenge of collage is not to find images, but to recognize your visual power and ability to be reconceptualized. In my practice, I only work with images that are able to shine a light on intimate memories. Um, I deconstruct their characteristics in an effort to tell my own story and rearrange their form until the final result turns into the eulogy of a romantic moment I experienced. Okay, w wait a second. I, I need to take this. Alright, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, so... You know, it's like... Reinventing my first kiss with slips from an ad in advertising in a 1950s live magazine. Um, and whether remembering ignites a positive or negative emotion, um, I think any memory worth carrying gives me purpose. Man, talking about purpose smells like Bogota in here. Give me one second. You drink coffee, right? Cool. Okay, where am I? Uh... So yeah, uh, therefore my purpose as an artist is to care for the leftovers of a lovely pet. Sounds pretty nostalgic really, but I believe that it's the deep connection I establish with images what reminds me of important life moments that otherwise would just be lost in my unconscious. Um, these images make me care about where I come from and how I felt. You know, it's like, it's like an album or a journal or something. Um, in the end, I think we all have a giant within, you know, every giant is own unknown, um, something you cannot see, you cannot touch. I could say that you cannot even feel it, but it's that presence that just looks upon you. It might crush you at moments or lift you at others. I could say that my intention with my art is just to connect with the public through the emotions that bond us all together. Um, to connect our giants in a world where words may not be enough.